Real quick before this episode starts, I just want to say that I'm playing with a pro controller right now, and uh, look at this. Yeah, apparently I could do it the whole time, I just didn't realize. I was supposed to hold down the uh, the left button and uh, the right stick. I feel dumb. Anyway, on with the scheduled programming. Hey everybody, it's Rara, and welcome back to some more Pikmin 2. In the last one, we did the White Flower Garden and got White Pikmin, which is super dope. They are my favorite type. And in this one, we're going to go back to the Awakening Wood and maybe take on another cave, see what it's got for us. Oh boy, cutscene time. I never noticed how many cutscenes there were with the, with the robot, dude. Um, but yeah, uh, I can see why people would get frustrated with the beginning of this game. It can, it can be a lot. L luckily, I haven't played this game in a long time, so, you know, it's not so bad for me, but anyways. Uh, good morning, the white Pikmin are lodged with the purple ones in my hull. The two types are sleeping well and do not quarrel. I have made them most comfortable. You can call out the white Pikmin by standing in the light beneath me and pressing A. On a separate note, be wary of overworking yourselves. Taking a break can be courageous too. To retire early for the day, yeah, I explain this. Alright. Are you ever gonna be done teaching me things? Like, come on now, let's just pluck these uh, these newcomers that we got yesterday. These are the ones that we just left in the ground. Um, so yeah, I left in that clip at the beginning there, and <laughs> because this is episode five, and I I haven't edited episode three yet, but I know that I was talking about the comparison I think in that one, so that was wrong, and you'll you'll have known that that was wrong, but at this point, I suppose. Well, let's just take out all of our purples and all of our whites because we don't have many of each. I'm just very scared for this playthrough. I I know that I, there's a lot on the line with every single purple and white Pikmin now. Um, speaking of white Pikmin though, now that we actually have access to them, let's take specifically whites. Uh, come this way. Let's go get an underground treasure that's just right here. I tried to get this at the end of the last, um, episode. Sorry, this is a new recording session here. Uh, so I think it was end of episode four. But it's right up there. And don't worry, that's not a creeping chrysanthemum. You can tell because there's no eyes. Eh. Treasure gauge is going nuts, so we'll just leave them to that. Uh, Pikmin are pretty automated, so they, they're smart. They got this. In fact, I think we'll just leave them with Louie. Uh, we're gonna get that last Pikmin out of the onion. I'm just gonna build up our, our reds a little bit. A little bit. And we'll stop uh, maybe like 80 Pikmin, roughly. What are you two doing over here? I don't know. But, let's see. We did have some poison walls that we could go for in these directions. I forget exactly where. Uh, I know that we... Oh, we took down this bridge the other day. So why don't we go get in that, that globe treasure that uh, I was showing the other day. And just like the first one, as you could probably have guessed, this will give us access to yet a new area. So probably in the next episode or two, we'll finally see someplace new. Doo -doo -doo. Fascinating. This object is highly similar to the one you found in the Valley of Repose. By examining this further, I may be able to extrapolate new planetary data. Yay! And now with the ability to swarm, oh hell yeah, that is, oh, cathartic. Honestly, pretty, pretty damn cathartic. Let's go see what's over here. We're gonna leave them to that. And all Marlin, we're just gonna do a little, oh no, it's Satan. <laughs> oh no, Everybody, if anybody remembers I pick one one, let's play. This is a yellow Wallywog, a returning enemy. Weird that you see a yellow Wallywog in this game before the, um, white ones, but, oh. Yeah, so the white Pikmin brought back that other one underground. Pilgrim Bulb. Not much, but it's one of the treasures. Uh, yeah, yellow Wallywog. We have, we need blue Pikmin for this because we need to get over here and get this bridge. Bring some white Pikmin over here, do that bridge. Um, and then do like a whole, like, water puzzle as well. Hey, 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 hey. Don't knock me down. <laughs> Who do you think you are? There's um a treasure up there that we can't get. All right, so let me just uh, let's remember this little area over here. We need blues, so let's try going um that away somewhere in the middle over here. 
Maybe we can get blues now, actually. I don't... I, you know, because it's not, it's not like a surprise. Obviously, blue Pikmin are in the game. They returned from the first. Um, but I just... I don't remember what we exactly need. So we're, we're just gonna get our dudes and see if maybe we can get some blue Pikmin. I don't remember if it's blue before yellow in this game. Um, but that'd be cool. Because <laughs> then we could go back to the impact site, too, and do more stuff over there as well. Let's, come on. Come on. Let's get the fast boys on it. Stop it. Stop it. Get away, female sugar grubs. Get, get, no, get away. And in the spirit of um, saving some Pikmin for our bloop, ooh, that puts us over 30%. Geographic prediction. Um, yeah, in the spirit of making sure that we have enough Pikmin for our blues, let's not raise any more reds. Uh, this hemisphere also contains a hidden microchip. I'll attempt to decrypt the stored data. The code incomplete. As I surmise, this chip contains additional topographic data. 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 I, I say both. I don't know which one's correct. They're probably both fine. The data has been inputted into my database. <laughs> That's gonna get annoying for people. I shall name it the, sur the survey chart. I can read. Oh. Come on. <laughs> this game is just full of cutscenes. It doesn't detract it from being uh, my favorite of the Pikmin so far, though. I just think this game is just so pretty looking and uh, just fun. Just, out, just outright fun. You know what? You can have that. Since I abused the captain uh, glitch where I sucked up two things of the nectar, they can have those berries for now. It's fine. I deserve it. Um, let me see here. Well, I... Oh, actually, you know what? I don't, but I, I do need yellows. I, I need I need yellow Pikmin to get over there. So, oh, but here we go. White Pikmin time. Uh, I had them break a, a wall or two before, but once again, <laughs> I put you onto your task of clearing out a poison wall. And uh, we'll leave all of our Pikmin. Uh, you know, no, we'll take we'll take our reds on a little journey. And then Louis will just have the rest with him. Uh, no, that's not the right button. Sorry, still getting used to uh, Pikmin 2 on the Switch. It's insane. <laughs> it's a good time to be a Pikmin fan. And a uh, good time to get into the series overall. Oh. Wait. Creeper Chrysanthemum? No? Okay. Yeah, the corpse hasn't respawned yet, which is very nice for us. Very lovely. Did they ever get that other gate? They got this one, but I'm pretty sure there was one more. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I guess I was wrong. So I need blues over there, and I need yellows to get the blues, so... I think this is kind of the only thing we can do today. Is just go wherever that poison wall leads. And we need that one yellow for that uh, treasure that's pretty close to us. The one that's right up here. Because uh, we can't reach that with the height of the, the throws of yellow Pikmin. Because regular throws do not make it up. Uh, so that kind of is unfortunate. Now we just gotta hope and pray that our whites can uh, get this done and time for us to be able to do things today. I will cut ahead to when this wall is complete. So I just took a little trip around the map, uh, like a half of the map, and I still had enough time, because these whites are taking uh, a minute. They, I, maybe I should have sprayed them with the spray. That would have made this wall go quite a bit faster. Yeah, um, day four progress. Not as good. Not as good as day three so far. <laughs> we got a spear and a nut, so that's cool. But there we go. Let's get it. Okay, love this for us. Immediately we're presented with a weight puzzle. Um, so, yeah, we want to get... Oh, should we save purples? I don't even remember how to do these kinds of weight puzzles. Let's throw the purples up first, maybe. Oh, they are, they are hard to get up there, though. Uh... I, for I forget how to do this, but I'm just gonna throw up like most of them and then we'll figure it out. Oh. Okay, well here, let's throw up some purples on this side. If we can't even get them up there. Oh, this is rough. Oh, this is rough. They didn't give me enough time for this. Okay. So we got one captain up here, which is good. Now we'll take Almar, bring him down here. 
just... No, purples, why are you so heavy and hard to throw? Uh... <laughs> Fuck. I guess this is like a Louie only job for now. Um, shit. Uh, you know, one captain only thing is I can't figure out how you get all the Pikmin up there. Um, and both captains. So, that's fine. Let's just grab everybody. And hell, even Olimar will be like part of the team, just like stuck behind. Oh, a little die. Can we even make it? I mean, that is like right there in front of the base, isn't it? Yeah. And also, oh, purple berries. What? Purple? I like the color purple. Yeah, let's get this die. Okay. Or I guess that'd be a dice, because the plural of die, uh, dice is die. You know, if there's like two or more, you know, the die have been cast. That kind of thing. Oh, we need... Oh. Can't do anything over here, either. This is kind of rough. <laughs> This is kind of a rough day. There's not a lot for us to do. Unless I'm missing something, and that, that could very much be the case. I'm thinking that we have to go to that new area that we just got unlocked, and I really wish I had gotten that globe yesterday. Oh, that would have been so nice. Uh, astonishing, this purple berry contains an ultra bitter essence. Yes, in con contrast to the ultra spicy essence, this is bitter. Doesn't appear to have any monetary value, but he'll find purposes for it. In other words, he's gonna make another kind of spray. <laughs> oh, spoiler. Um, but it takes a little longer because, you know, this plant, it only, there's only one of them. So it needs, it still needs 10 though. So we can't exactly make the spray that it, it will make just yet. The chance totem, yay. And with that, I think, <laughs> I think that might be all we can do right now. I guess I'll, um, I don't know. <laughs> this could be one of the rare instances in which I actually do uh, go to sunset, but I, I need to make sure. You know what? We'll, we'll just have, I'll just have my Pikmin just gather berries and maybe we can get that spray finished by today. That'll be like our final goal. We went and got uh, three treasures today, three treasures, and we opened up Basically all the paths that we can with the Pikmin that we currently have. And I'll just have my Pikmin keep doing this. And if I do get the spray by the end of the day, I probably will. Then that's cool. And I'll see you then. If not, um, I'll still see you then. And it'll be the end of the day and I won't have the spray and that'll be sad. Spoiler, we uh, had time to get the spray. <laughs> Here we go. What does it do? Oh, it's all gelatinous. Look at it. It's all blobby. Captain Olimar, I've completed my research on the purple berries you discovered. Behold the ultra bitter spray. It's untested, but I believe it'll be highly effective. Approach enemies and press the D-pad, or up on the D-pad, to spray them. When necessary, I can produce- yep, same thing. Um, cool. He was saying that you could also see your exact berry counts. I... Don't remember exactly where that is in the menu, but it's somewhere. Oh, there it is. Yes. So you can see how much spray and, and berries, so you'll know how much you need to the next um, spray. But basically, the Ultra Bitter Spray, it instantly freezes any enemy that you cover it with. Um, and it is... I wouldn't say it's far better than the Spicy Spray, but if I had to pick one out of, the, out of two, you know, if I can only have one, I would go with Bitter Spray. I mean, free, like, hard freezing your enemies, turning them into solid rock for, like, three straight seconds, maybe even, I feel like this might be five seconds, I don't know. Some ridiculously, like, strong amount of time. It is so helpful. It is so helpful. Um, I believe there are some enemies that this doesn't work on due to, like, being un unable to spray them, but I might be wrong about that. I don't, I'm not a, I'm not a hunter. It might work on everything. Do your research, kids. Don't don't listen to every little thing I tell you. Go out there, figure things out for yourself, because I'm not always right. And a lot of the times, I'm not even a little bit right. I'm, like, very much wrong. But anyways, let's, uh, let's just skip to sunset here, since I can't really do uh, anything else. And tomorrow, we'll go to the next uh, area. Maybe we'll get a new kind of Pikmin. Oh. Yeah, not that productive of a day. We did what we could, though. 
<laughs> I didn't know any better because I'm dumb. Now we got a pure uh, Pikmin game now, so that's cool. Got like six more, six more red boys. Uh, all of them are good work so far. I hereby promote you to assistant manager. Press X to divide up work and Y to de delegate more to subordinate leader. Hope all goes smoothly. This means nothing to me. I will never see my family again. I've been making uh, points about Olimar's kids, but he he's happily married, I'll let you know. Oh, hold on, new, new, new area? Perplexing pool. Cool. Um, yeah, no, Olimar is married, and he has a wife. Olimar, Olimar got a whole ass family missing him, so that's all I'm trying to say. But yeah, let's, uh, let's not end the episode here, let's just keep it going. Let's keep it going. Next day. We're barely, we're barely in this. Let's check out the perplexing pool. Ooh. You know, I was gonna say I've never seen how this level looks like the distant spring, but it, it just connected. Oh my god, I, I feel silly. I feel silly. A lot of the levels in this game are just like the same areas as in Pikmin 1, but from like entirely new angles, um, perspectives, and just like seasons with new obstacles and stuff. I mean, if you didn't know that, it might be a little hard to tell, but I feel like I definitely should have known. I feel like it's not that hard to notice. But yeah, let's take all of our Pikmins, all our 70 of our, our Pikmin boys. Let's just start exploring. Oh. Oh. Well, well, well. <laughs> yep, there are the yellows here. Look, off in the distance, wild Pikmin. Can you see them, Captain Olimar? They are yellow Pikmin. You encountered them when you crashed on this planet, correct? It would be most helpful if they remember you like the red ones did. Yes, most helpful. Alright. Now, where exactly are they on the map? Oh. Like, literally right in front of us. Let's try to get them then, huh? Um, yeah, well, we need, you know, this is the copy of the perplexing pool, so clearly, as you can see, a lot of water. All those, like, light gray areas, uh, th that's all water. So we're literally surrounded by it on all sides, and I feel like we're not going to be able to do a whole lot of- Oh, oh god, oh god, those are flying share grubs, also returning from the first game. Uh, as their name suggests, they can fly, and that's not super cool, but if you land a Pikmin on them, just like regular Shear Grubs, it's a nice insta-kill, so, um, they're not too bad. And since they can only kill one Pikmin at a time max, eh, I'd say they're alright. Ooh, yeah, that's a water area. Oh my god, what is that nightmare fuel? We'll get to that later. <laughs> I really don't like those enemies. I don't like the look of those enemies. I don't like their whole vibe. I don't like their aesthetic. I just don't like them. Oh, let's get some purples ready for this yellow wally walk. Oh! Oh my god, look at that menace. Look at that terror just brought down to my level. That is absolutely wild. And ooh, cave. Yeah, yellow wally walks are so scary in Pikmin 1. But with purple Pikmin, they are just turned into a joke, which is very, very funny. Dessert, my senses are giving up foreboding signals. These signals can very well mean that this hole is filled with wretched, nasty bugs. Vicious, program terminating bugs. Oh, goodness. Oh, I never even got that joke. Ooh, Citadel of Spiders has fire and electric hazards. Yes, as I have been teasing, we do not have the ability to deal with electric hazards yet, but I, I bet you can... I bet you can figure out what kind of Pikmin can deal with electric hazards. Uh. And we will be trying to get those in this episode. Oh, goodness. If I could bait that Wally Wog into fighting us, so I could kill it really quick. That'd be cool. I don't, want to, I don't want to pick one to touch the water, though, so maybe let's not do that. Is Louie not here? Did I not call Louie into the party? Louis. Oh, motherfucker! <laughs> okay, one sec. Hey, guys. How you doing? It's me, Louie. Just fucking around. Uh, another weight puzzle. They uh, really threw these on this all of a sudden, huh? Let's get the purples first up there. Oh, nice. Good angle. Good angle. Good angle. No, we need uh, one Pikmin. Yep. Oh. <laughs> That's the sacrifice Pikmin. No, no, no. Here. 
Louis, you will be the sacrifice instead. You'll have to suffer down here by your little lonesome while we take all the Pikmin with us. You know, the people who are worth it. There we go, all 70 of you. And goodbye, loser that nobody likes. Oh, shit! No! You come back with my purples, you cuck! Swarm him! Swarm him! Yeah, that's right. That's right. That is <laughs> returning enemy swooping snitch bug, who they just swoop down and they try to um, steal your Pikmin, and they will fly around with them and just bury them somewhere on the map. Oh. And that's why I do that with those guys, because look how that turned out for us. It's a swarm of Pikmin. Just gotta get some flowers. Don't, don't carry their creepy ass corpses. You know, let's just get as many flowers as we can, and is that all 70 already? Alright, well. Tons for our yellows, too, when uh, we get those. Where are we going? Oh, over here. Let's see all this swooping stitch bug really fast. Hey, bud. Come on down. Come on down. Come on down. I'd like a word. Yeah, I'd like a word. Thank you very much. And fuck you, too. Alright, alright, alright. Don't carry it, don't carry it. We're gonna kill this uh, fiery blowhog. Thank you very much. More like, fuck you very much. Hi. Uh -huh. Oh, what's this? What the hell? It's gross. What is this? A strange mold like botanical entity is spread across the ground here. Interesting. I'm detecting another plant life suffocating beneath it. I don't know. Well, <laughs> I know what I must do. Morally, we must free it. Oh, let me see here. I ain't no, I ain't no tree hugging hippie either, but you know, it's just, it's just wrong. Uh, uh, okay, we're gonna get our Pikmin building this bridge, so we don't have to do that uh, freaking weight puzzle every single day, because that'd be annoying. And where are those Pikmin going? Oh, they're attracted to the flower. Okay. Yeah, let's get this done, um, so we don't have to do the weight puzzle anymore, because that sucks. And it'd be a lot faster to just have a nice bridge to get to the side of the map. Come on, last with a little purple. Don't fuck around. Oh, they had berry flowers! Let's go. Yep, yeah, so just get rid of those and get yourself some berry flowers. It's very nice. I hope that these have purple so I can get more purple ones so I can show off what they do without running out. Come on. And I've never even used the red one. I'm just gonna waste a red one. Like, and a purple one, just when we can. Um, because I, because I'm goaded, obviously, and ooh, they are purple ones. Nice, that's good for us. I know that there were other flying shergubs over here that we didn't kill, so we might actually have to kill those before we go back. Uh, that's not so bad though. And oh my god, the animations are looking weird. Uh, oh, oh, there they are. Nice, nice, nice. Pro skills, pro gaming, good. So we've opened up a little shortcut over to this side, and hey. Hey! No! Ah, uh, fuck it. They're just gonna eat the berries. I don't care. We have more important things to do today. <laughs> like unlocking yellow Pikmin. I feel like that's, uh, slightly more important. Ooh. This is a new enemy right here. Fiery Bullblax. Now, these, uh, these can only be killed with, uh, red Pikmin, theoretically. You could also send your purples at it and keep stunning it, but that takes forever. And you want to do this fast. So, <clears throat> we're gonna use both, uh, both sprays right here. Just because, uh, why not? So what we'll do is we will use the, uh, purple spray and the red spray. Oh, come on. T tutorial time. Uh, so I've already told them what it does. This fierce beast became as hard as stone in a mere instant. That's not the only thing coming hard as stone. Ha ha ha. Yep, it stops them in the tracks. It freezes them. Now we're going to press down to do this and use the red spray. <laughs> Oh yeah, they're doped up. He Look at that crazy look in his eye. Red Pikmin go hard! Astounding, the heads of the Pikmin are glowing, and they seem extremely agitated. Yeah, they're they're fast and strong now. And then we throw! No, we throw! Come on, throw! Come on, no! No! No, don't eat my Pikmin! No, no, no! He's not biting. What? <laughs> hey, dummy, you forgot to, like, eat my Pikmin. <laughs> Okay, well, you know what? While they're all jacked up, let's have them carry back this bowl box for some nice Pikmin numbers. Yep. And then we'll have the whites uh, do their own thing over here. Just uh, get the wall. That's all they can do for now. 
All right, I thought I had some whites carrying that, but fortunately we did not. And it's quickly, quickly. We want to get to the yellows before the end of the day and start building up their numbers. Um, that's that's why I didn't take out a full hundred squad, and I also don't have that many. I only have seventy-eight in existence. So let's grab all you. Let's grab all you. Let's make a game plan. If we go through the shortcut, we're back out at the front. I feel like we just kind of need yellows, and then we need to go back to the Awakening Wood and then get blues, and then we'll have every kind of Pikmin, and life will be good. Life could be a dream. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Actually, no, 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 what am I doing? Stop, stop it, stop it with the bull blacks. No. <laughs> okay, I want I want to use this bull blacks for the yellow Pikmin. I don't know what I'm doing. I have, I have a good enough amount of reds and I want to build up my uh, yellow numbers. So that's not what I want to do. Ooh, um, this is awkward. This is gonna take them a minute. Probably the next two minutes, and then we'll have maybe three, three and a half-ish minutes to get the gate down. Probably. <laughs> Hopefully I'd have at least that long. We just need to get in there, though. Oh, boy. You know what? Here. Oh, shit. I was gonna split up the party in between Almar and Louie. Uh. This is awkward. Okay. Right here. It, like, right outside the yellow base, that's where we'll keep all our Pikmin. Just so they don't get lost or killed by anything on, on accident. Are you guys gonna be good here? You're not gonna do anything with your stupid little AI? Alright. And I will I will wait until this is, this is done. Oh, okay, let's go. Let's go. Speed running time. Get over here with all the uh, non-yellows and just uh, do a little bit of this. Thank you. Hello, babies, I'm here, and I had more time than I thought I would, so this is nice. Get off that tree. What? Wait, is that electricity? Who could have thought? Oh my god, that's insane. The yellow pickup have climbed down the tree and are staring in this direction. <laughs> they appear to like high places and seem to be quite light. They also have very large ears. If I had named them, you, they would be called Ear Pikmin, but I will use the name Alma gave them. Curious, my static electricity sensors are reacting violently. What could this mean? Gee, I wonder what this could mean. It's actually insane. What it could mean. All of the possibilities. Anyways, there's the yellow onion right there, so we just want to quickly just uh, do a little bit of you, and do a little bit of you, and start knocking down this five pellet. Oh, or maybe I should have used all five to go for the five pellet. I don't know. Strategy. I uh, hope we can get that Bulblax for the day ends. We did bring it kind of far away from the thing, unfortunately. Uh, here. Just knock down the ten. Knock down the ten. Yes. <laughs> Come with me. Uh, you have a job to do. Here. Get the five. Okay, now that you knocked it down, yep. Get the five. <clears throat> no. Nope. You too. You too. Get the five. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Unfortunately, this only puts us at 9, but uh, the faster we get the 9, the faster we can get the 5 pellet, the faster we can get 10 yellows. <laughs> I did not come into this Let's Play prepared, and I'm not looking up any guides or walkthroughs or Let's Plays uh, anyone else's before I record these episodes, so it's all just my reaction to things about how they're going with uh, no coordination, no planning going into it. And I probably should, considering that I'm trying to not lose many Pikmin. Unless I, you know, I'm unable to reset. Uh, come on. I want to get the 10 pellet and then go right for the Bulbax. Actually, we probably want to pluck all those Pikmin first. I'm not sure if we could uh, get the Bulbax with only these, like, 13 Pikmin. 14 Pikmin. Oh, yeah, we're probably going to need all 20-ish. The thing is, is that we can get some, we can take some whites, because whites and purples will actually carry things to whichever Pikmin uh, onion that they're helping out. Because um, whites and purples don't have onions of their own, so whenever they carry stuff, it just goes to whichever type they're helping out the most. And, yeah, I should have been doing that from the start. Anyways, we're going to take this little bunch of Pikmin, and we're just going to go get uh, the bull blacks while, while, before the sun goes down. And now that we have over a hundred Pikmin, we have 102 total existing Pikmin, uh, and that means that... Uh, come on, game. Come on. 
That means that any Pikmin over 100 will actually be grown inside the onion and we won't- we don't have to pluck them. They can't become flower Pikmin, obviously because they're not like growing in the ground. What? What? Get, come on guys. No, 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 no. Don't carry those. Don't carry those. Oh, and they're carrying that pretty fast. Nice. Let's get more whites on that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is that the max? I guess we got the max on that. Unfortunately, the purple got on it. Um, but we can also give them the stupid snitch bug. I think the snitch bug's only like three. Yeah. And like I said, whites and purples will help out the dominant carrying color. And since we only have yellows helping them, they just go to the yellow onion, which is nice. And we just want to get our yellow numbers up to something like 30, 40 this first day, something like that. And we won't, we won't worry, have to, blah, blah, blah. God, <laughs> English is a hard language, even though it's the only one that I know. Um, we don't have to worry too much about building up our numbers for like yellows and blues past like their first day. If we do a good job, that is, you know. Let's also get these pellets, because why not? And with that, I think we'll be good. Oh, no, 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 that was two whites. What's happening? God, what possible tutorial could they be throwing at us this far into the game already? Oh, we have a crisis. The Pikmin, the onion has stopped producing Pikmin seeds. Is that a malfunction? Wait, intriguing. Reading show an increase in the number of Pikmin inside the onion. Yeah, I, I explain this. It's the same as in the first Pikmin game. You were just kind of slow to catch up, and don't worry about it. I'm, I'm here to do your job for you. Uh, we could get a yellow and a white on that. That'd probably go a lot faster. Oh, God, we have 10 seconds. Okay, let's just get everybody round up. Everybody's coming with me. Oh, do we have any plucking to do? That might be a little awkward. Oh, we do. Come on. Come on. Come on. Speed. I am speed. Uh. Okay, 98. Oh, my God. Guys. Okay, they made it. <laughs> they made it. We'll end with 122 Pikmin, and let me see, 42 yellows, honestly? Uh, we take that. That's pretty good. Love that for us. Oh, so close. <laughs> Look at our squad, though! We got, we got, like, a whole bunch of colors now! That's four different Pikmin types. Ah, oh, it's growing, it's growing! And you get to see something fun, something special. If you don't actually know what this is, um, when we had every Pikmin type, and you currently have a 20 out of each type, something cool happens. And I'll definitely be showing that quite a bit. Because I, I like to usually venture with 20 of each Pikmin, just to have a nice balance of them all. Oh wait, that actually means that we need to go into another cave, because I need more white Pikmin. I only have 15. Can't even do that. Oof, didn't get any treasure today. <laughs> the president's like, what the fuck? Guys, you were on a streak. And then, yikes. But he, he doesn't know. He, he doesn't know that we're doing like little like, you know, crossbreeding over here. Olimar, terrible news. I thought I went to Happy Hakutate Savings and Loan, but it seems my loan came from the shop next door. All devouring black hole loan sharks. Oops. Yikes. Yikes. Well, <laughs> that explains why they uh, took every asset we had and put us in debt by over 10,000 Pocos. And knowing that 100 Pocos is over a year's salary, yeah, this makes a little bit of sense. But, uh, it's okay, Mr. President, we will fix your issues uh, starting in the next episode. This episode was a lot of unlocking discovering new, but it was good. Uh, this episode felt good. And the next one, well, you know, we have four types of Pikmin, and we're only missing one more type. Funny how that works, isn't it? I think, uh, I think maybe now we should go for that final type of Pikmin, huh? Get, uh, get all five? That'd be pretty cool. Anyways, enough teasing, I've been Rara. Thank you all very much for watching this episode of Pikmin 2. And I'll see you in the next one, okay? Where we'll do something fun. Not that this episode wasn't fun, but just that, like, they're, you know, I was, I was just saying something cool for the audience. Alright, bye!